Hey guys, welcome back to Fantasy Tipped. My name is Julian and this is 5 tips that can help you win this week the Fantasy Finals. Let's jump into it guys and we're going to be talking about part 1 of the Fantasy Finals week once again and I'll put out another video just like this for part 2 telling you exactly what you should do to make the most of your ads and drops this week in order to win your fantasy finals. I am still a little bit under the weather, so I do apologize for my voice. I know it sounds a little bit congested. That's because it is. Before we get into it, guys, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. More than half of you that watch this channel are not subscribed, so if you do hit that button, it would mean a lot to me. Let's jump into it now, and let's start with tip number one. Tip number one is to prepare for the week before the week even starts. That's why I'm putting this out on Sunday, guys. If you do still have ads for the week, use them before next week starts. That way, you already have an advantage going into next week because you've already pre-made ads and you still have your full set of ads for next week. Check if you have room in your lineup on Tuesday. If you do, add players that play both Monday and Tuesday. Those teams that play both Monday and Tuesday are Nashville, Vegas, and Seattle. Those three teams are very good teams to be adding because you get a back-to-back -back set Monday and Tuesday. If you don't have room in your lineup on Tuesday, go ahead and just add someone who plays on Monday. Still a good add. Tip number two, drop your Winnipeg Jets players after Wednesday if you are not playing part two of the week. Now, some of you this week are playing just this part one of the week. Your week ends on Sunday, and that's when your fantasy final ends. Other people... Their week doesn't end until next week, at the end of the week next week. If that's the case, you're hanging on to your Winnipeg Jets. But if your week does end at the end of the week this week, having Winnipeg Jets after Wednesday, not overly useful because they only play on Saturday after that, and every single team in the NHL plays on Saturday. So guaranteed, you're going to have overflow. So unless you have like Kyle Connor or something that you want to have in your lineup for Saturday, uh, there's not a whole lot of Winnipeg Jets I'd be holding on after Wednesday. And that brings me right into my tip number three. Drop any player that you can't fit in your lineup. All the teams in the NHL play on Thursday too, except for four teams. So in all likelihood, you're going to be benching players on Thursday as well. So if you have a player that plays on Thursday and then on Saturday, but they're not like within your top few players and you're going to be benching them both Thursday and Saturday, there's not really a point to have them on your team. Drop them and add someone who's actually going to be able to fit in your lineup who plays maybe on and off night. Tip number four. If you do have a double week, your week only ends at the end of next week, do not use up all your moves in part one of the week. That's a terrible, terrible idea and it's a recipe for disaster. You want to save some moves for later in the week so you know what you're going to be targeting especially if you're in a cats league or something you want to know what kind of category you're going to have to target towards the end of the week definitely hang on to a couple of moves there's going to be some better options to pick up for next week remember that if you do have a double week your pickups don't reset for the second half of the week so you definitely definitely want to be smart about it and on the flip side if your week ends on sunday i want you to use all of your moves this week i don't care how much of a lead you have use all of your moves to make sure that you guarantee that win. And finally, my last tip is to prep for part two of the week early. After Wednesday, your lineup will be full until Sunday because there are no games on Friday and then Thursday and Saturday are super busy nights. So you can go ahead and add a player for Sunday or add players for Monday, Tuesday, next week. Whatever you have room for in your lineup, go ahead and check and whatever fits the best in your lineup, that's what you're gonna pick up for the next part of next week because, I mean, after Wednesday, guys, like I said, you're not going to have room in your lineup till Sunday. So go ahead and make moves early to pick up those players that will actually fit in your lineup. And that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching all the way through. If you enjoyed the content today, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'm Julian from Fantasy Tip, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Take care.